I could get drafted number one overall if I place top five in this event. Yo, you have to play with random teammates. Nah, I'm about to get sold. This is going to be bad. What is he doing? He's just leaving people open for fun. I have to clutch up for my team. This is when legends become legends. Give me that. Give me that. Come on now. That's mine. That's mine. I'm pulling from the hash. I'm pulling from the hash. That's green. Come on now. Come on now. Right between both defenders. That is green. I'm pointing at you. Yo, we're in first place. First place right now. Yo, 12 seconds left. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, a.k.a. Double H, back at it with yet another banger. And in today's video, we have an amazing video for you guys. So make sure to drop a like on the video if you guys want this series to continue. And if you guys want me to win more events. And subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. One million subscribers of the way. A lot of y'all be watching a lot of my videos. And you're not even subscribed. Make sure to hit that sub button. It's free. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you gameplay of how I won the first ever NBA. 2k league become a pro series ever now if you guys don't know what the nba 2k league is let me explain how this event works and what it is and everything before we get into this gameplay okay so the nba 2k league is basically like the nba but like the competitive gaming like version of it so it's basically the esports league for the NBA 2K. There's a bunch of professional 2K players that play in this league and compete in 5v5 and 3v3 mode. Now for the first time ever, 2K had a built-in event this week for 3v3 competitive 2k league now these events took place four different times this week one was on wednesday thursday friday and saturday which is the day i'm uploading this video there's also more of these coming in november so there will be a total of eight different qualifiers to qualify for this 2k league draft pool for the 3v3 mode but anyways if you did place top five in this event you would earn unlimited dunk boost all tier one prizes, which include a jersey, arm sleeves, a shirt, Gatorade boost, 10,000 VC. And also, you would receive an entry to be put in the 2K League draft pool to become eligible to play in this competitive esports league. Where the top of the top players compete against each other. Now, how does this event work? Well, basically, you walk in. It's a 3v3 mode, and you cannot squad up with people. So when you walk in, it just gives you random teammates. So everybody competing in this event is playing with randoms that they just are matched up with. Not only that, but this event is based off position. So there's a point guard leaderboard, a shooting guard leaderboard, a small forward leaderboard, a power forward leaderboard, and a center leaderboard. And based off the first two events that I competed in, but unfortunately didn't win, point guard was by far the hardest position to win in and was the most competitive. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my third attempt at trying to win this event, which was the event that took place on friday i will could be competing in the point guard leaderboard which is the most competitive one and everybody that was winning this point guard leaderboard was usually like a 6-1 uh point guard that was really fast and could fade i was competing on a six foot seven point guard build and if you want this build it's actually my most recent video click the link in the description and if you want that build go watch that video but basically the event is based off my points so the more rebounds assists lobs points threes the better defense you play the more my points you get per game and the top five players in each position at the end of the four hour event with the most my points will earn the prizes like i said the unlimited dunk boost and layup boost and be eligible for the 2k league draft pool so like i said all you have to do to win in this event is become top five at the end of the event in your position so anyways without further ado hopefully you guys understand how this event works if you don't just rewind let's get in to every single game i played in this event and how we won the event so let's get into the gameplay man so here we go the event is about to start and as you can see i'm at the event center waiting at the wall or whatever that you know is gonna unleash and let us go through through the elevator or whatever and here we go the nba 2k leagues compete for a spot in the 2k league draft pool and that is exactly what we're going to be doing today so as soon as the event started i already knew what to expect because i already had played this event twice but unfortunately came up short so i walked into the event immediately you have to like agree to like something or whatever i click a 
And look at all the people rushing in immediately. Yeah. By the way, y'all make sure to drop a like on this video if you guys want more videos about this draft pool thing and me competing and going through step by step to this 2K League thing. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. You know, is am I going number one? <laughs> let me find out. No, I'm just playing. But anyways, so we walk in immediately, and this is the first team we get. Now, I don't know any of these dudes. Everyone's playing with randoms. Now, if you win, it stays with your team. But you can choose to back out. If you lose, your team is automatically separate. Now, we have a GOAT tier. We have a Silver tier. Not bad, but we're playing against a GOAT tier 6-1. So, at this point, I'm like, okay, I don't even like my team yet. I mean, we haven't really played yet, but we'll see how I like them. And they weren't really giving me the ball. As you can see, this dude's just going to go ahead and dunk it. And it's fine. They can score. It's whatever. But to win this event, I need to be involved. I need a team that trusts me, is giving me the ball a lot, so I can get assists and points almost every possession. And this just wasn't that team. Like... Not only was I not getting the ball, but when I was trying to get an assist, they would either just dump it off to somebody else or they just wouldn't make their shot, right? So as you can see, yeah, I got a three. I get a dunk, but nothing crazy to the point where I'm going to get any of my points from. We do get a flashy pass to end the game and absolutely smoked that team 22 to four. But I was like, okay, I don't like this team, but our first score is 13,000, which is not very good. You want to shoot for... 20k i would say uh, after playing this event three times i say 20k is a very anything 20k or above is insane anything 18k is above is, is insane but anyways i back out immediately load up again try to get a better team and see we're not we're like 200 plays i get matched up with a guy named meech i don't know who that is oh that was the other guy's name and mjt i didn't even get to really see his build or anything it loads us in and we're playing a gold tier silver tier a bunch of guys that basically just can't shoot and I'm like, okay, let's see how this goes. And this went way worse. I mean, this dude was leaving people open for fun on my team. I dot this guy right here. He folds bars it. I don't know how that didn't go in. Then I tried to get an assist here. It was a good pass, but I, I could have gotten an assist. You know what I'm saying? So this team wasn't working out too well either. We did get a lot. We did get a couple plays. But for the most part, like this play right here, I'm trying to get an assist. He waits, shoots with takeover, oh. and air balls. I'm like, yeah, nope, this is not the team. This is not it. I was even laughing with the dude on the other team in game check because I was like, bro, I cannot get an assist. And this dude's airballing with takeover. So I back out again. Okay, because th those two teams weren't it. And I load up for a third time. And boom. Now we talking. I get matched up with WSC J Dot. I don't know who that is. Never spoke to dude in my life. But he, he's, you know, a silver tier. Not bad. But a Cardi YT. Now. That is somebody that I have played with before. All these people in this event so far, this is my third time playing the event. I've never played with any of these people before. But A Cardi YT is somebody I have played before. That is another YouTuber that I have played before. So this is looking good. At this point, I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God, this could be the team. I can have chemistry with this person. Like we could actually win it. He knows what he's doing. He knows how to win this event. But first game, we're playing a goat tier and a gold tier, but no problem for us. We get 20K XP. We go absolutely crazy. I'm going to show you guys next game what our method was. Now, this was very good. I'm, I'm now I'm in 31st place. I have 46K my points and I'm only 13K behind first, right? So I'm like, okay, bet. We have a decent team. You know, our center's not too bad. Our small forward's very good, and I feel like I'm good. So this was our strategy. So first play, I throw a lob. So I'm like, okay, every play, I want to either get an assist or want to score. So my small forward, which was A. Cardi, was getting a lot of the buckets. He was a really good shooter, and I was and I was also a really good shooter. So it just worked well. You see, I'm throwing a lob. I'm getting a three. I'm flashing to him for a three. I'm getting steals because this build does get a 99 steals. So the, basically, my method was, okay, I can catch lobs sometimes, like right here. I'm going to shoot threes. I can throw lobs. I can get assists and then get steals and just do as much as that every game as possible. See right here on the fast break, I flash you the J dot. That's going to give me an assist. And at this point, I'm cherry picking because we're up seven. He's going to throw it to me. Wide open three with takeover. Of course, that's going in. And just like that, a Cardi misses right here. I get a rebound. That's going to give me more, some more stats. Kick it right back out to him. And that's an assist. And boom, the game's over. So that was my strategy throughout the entire event. And right here, as you can see, I got 18K for that. Like I said, anything like 17, 18,000 or more is amazing. So as you can see, I'm 13th place right now. Now, to win the event, we got to be top five. So we're shooting for top five. Okay, we're about a game behind. So we load into another game. And this is a free game. I'm like, okay, bet. I'm going ahead, fading in the co in the corner, game, right? 22 to four, we're going crazy, and boom, 14.8K, not too good. I was kind of getting worried when I was getting games from 12 to 14K, but hey, we're 13th place, and we're like 10K behind first. That's not too bad. Now, the thing is, I, what I'm worried about is 
We cannot lose because if I lose, I'm going to lose this team, okay? We're going to get split up. And y'all know how the matchmaking is. It just puts you with anybody. So I'm lucky, very lucky that I got this team. But I have to make sure we keep this team because if we lose, it's, it's basically done for. I could get a, a bad team and then not win, right? But right there, that game, we're shooting very well. I get about 20K points. And now we're fourth place. Fourth place. I'm like, yo. We got this. I'm barely behind first two. I just got to stay in top five for the whole game. You see right here, this dude throws up a bad shot, throwing it down to me. Y'all already know I'm on my six, seven, Denny, my two-way demon, right? I'm shooting, shooting over that seven, three, 20 to 16. I'm cherry picking. That's another thing that I should have probably done more looking back is cherry pick more. I was doing it sometimes, but when we had a lead, I was cherry picking sometimes just to end the game because I got my assist early in those games. And look at now I'm third place and I'm only 6k behind first so i'm like okay bet now we're playing a goat tier this game and a gold tier and another goat tier so this is a good team right here but it's no match for us you see the the, the little one two punch right there boom i get a three the good thing about the team i was playing with as you can see i'm fading in the corner is that me and cardi were really good shooters and i feel like we were all three of us were very good defenders too we all had iq we, we didn't communicate especially uh, um our center because i had no chemistry with the center before at least i had chemistry with the small four i was playing with uh, no communication this event's tough we played a gold tier a gold tier five to four you see me in the corner green come on man you know me you know there were some misses th this event but look at i'm getting a steal but for the most part look at me shooting from the hash i mean I, for the most part i wasn't missing you know i got i don't got a 65 three point percentage for nothing you see i'm shooting from the hash again and that game right there and boom we get about 21k my points which was insane look at 13.3 assists i was trying to figure out what was getting me all these points you see i'm in third place because some games i'd get like 24k and some games i get 16k but i couldn't really tell the difference but i was like as long as i get stats up i'll get at least 16k and we'll hope that we get more than that you know what i'm saying because i couldn't to be honest i really couldn't figure out what was giving me the extra points in some games so 16 to 18 right here i hit a cardi he's gonna go ahead and hit that three and we win that game by five points and at this point we're playing a lot of gold silver and goat tiers right now we get 20k right there probably from opponent strength and we're still in third place 18k behind first place which is about a game right now in my head i was thinking okay we're gonna we got a couple bum games to start but now we're gonna start playing a lot of comp and hopefully like the last hour and a half if we're still alive at that point is not gonna be any comp because all the comp that isn't competing and doesn't think they have a chance of winning is probably just not gonna be playing the event anymore and already got their participation reward but it's just, i got 25k for that game now we're 10k behind first and i'm second place i'm like yo we can do it like i could actually win this event now this game right here we're playing a goat tier center i'm like okay that dude shoots 57 percent from three we gotta lock in first play goes out for three i'm like what is my teammate doing what is jay not doing he's leaving wide open i'm like yo okay we're down three to zero we gotta take this game serious because if we lose it's over basically we have to find new i have to find new teammates and that's pretty risky so i hit my team right there he gets a dunk i get back door right here horrible defense and now we're down five to two we gotta lock in i'm like yo i'm gonna take this i'm gonna take my two if, if my pop isn't open if i'm over for three i'm gonna take it two but five to four you see a cardi gets a block right there but then he gets a lucky offensive rebound and gets a layup out of that so now we're down seven to four i'm trying to get a bucket right here i hit jada i'm like okay hopefully you know we get something out of this he hits me back it's kind of open but i have no energy so i take the dunk again and we're down seven to six we don't have a single stop yet this dude's trying to force it on me i'm like no i'm playing good defense he takes a bad shot I could have thrown it down, but I'm being a little selfish here trying to get an assist. We get a three out of it, though, so it works out. A Cardi hits that three. We are up two points. Now we need to get a stop. This dude does a walk back, shoots contested three. I'm like, yes, this is what we need. I got the board. Let me go for an assist. A Cardi sets me on screen. I'm like, okay, if we can get a lob, we can get it. And we do get a lob there, and it works. So I'm like, okay, we get in my points. We've beaten the team now. It's looking good. You know, we clamping them right here. They have to shoot a bad shot. It's 11 to 7. I'm throwing it down. A Cardi shoots a fade. And I'm like, yo, yo, that's kind of a crazy shot. He misses, but we get the stop and we get another open three for him and he makes it. So we're up seven. We're up 14 to 7. I'm like, okay, we chill it. We don't got to worry about this game. We're going to win this game. But, you know, we don't have communication and I should have switched onto that. But they were sending off ball. So that center, he gets a wide open three, 14 to 10. And look at this dot right here. Dot to A Cardi. Oh my gosh. I was throwing it dimes in this event not only was i shooting very good i was throwing dimes but look i'm cherry picking right here because i'm like we win we're gonna win they don't get a three out of it they only get a dunk so it's whatever 
12 to 7. I'm like, okay, we chilling. This dude chooses a contested three and makes it. He greens the 20%. Now it's just a two-point game. So we got to score right here. Hey, Cardi shoots a fake green. So I'm, once again, I'm like, okay, we chilling. We have five, 20 to 15. But then this center shoots a fade from half court. Now it's 20 to 18. I'm like, okay, we good, we good. I'm wide open dunk. And I missed the dunk. I missed the dunk. J Dot hits a Cardi in the corner. He shoots a fade and he misses. Yo, we can't, we cannot let them score here. 20 to 18. He gets a wide open dunk. It is 20 to 20. If we don't score here, we are going to be split up. And I'm going to have to probably get unlucky and get a bad team now that I have a good team. So I'm like, okay, I got to take a two. 20 to 20. I get the open two. He's playing the lane because he went for the, the block the last time. And we get the win. I'm like, okay. Okay, let me catch my breath here. 16K. That was too close for comfort. We are still second place. Still a game behind first, though. I'm like, okay. Now we got a reality check. We can lose any game for this event. We got to make sure we win. Yes, we could be selfish, get some assistant points to get our my points. But we have to win. We have to make sure we win. Because if we lose... It's not, it might not be looking good. You know what I'm saying? So we get 14K right there. Not too good of a game. But now we're first place because that game was so fast. Now, obviously, that Juice can hadn't finished this game before because our game, like, we lapped him, right? We're playing a GOAT tier right here. You see him wide open with Limitless Takeover. And that's green. Get him off the court. And we are moving up in the ranks. 24K? I mean, I don't know how I was getting those extra points. I still don't know how. But we're first place. By 5k points, we're going absolutely crazy. And throughout this whole event, this is the most intense event I've ever played. Because if I lose one game, it could be over. Like, usually when I'm playing mobile or ruffles, it's like, okay, it doesn't really matter if we lose a game. We'll just go back into our squad. But now that I got lucky with a good team, it's like, there's so much pressure. If we lose, I could, I could be done for, even though I'm second place. You know, because what if I go back in and I get a bad team? And then they sell me or don't get the ball. Like, because I got to keep getting my points, right? But anyways, we win again. 20K points right there. I'm second place right now with two hours left. So we're halfway through the event and I'm second place. Two hours down, two hours to go, right? Halfway through, we're second place. You see this dude jumping. I'm fading. That's great. I was going great. When I tell you I was in my bag, I was getting steals. I was getting dunks look at look at a cardi posterizing him right there i was shooting from half court i was diamond people i was doing everything out there i was really looking like a pro out here playing at the highest level okay 17k points right there we are 11k behind first place with 305k we're playing another goat tier we're, we're playing a lot of comp now you got to remember everybody's playing with randoms including myself now i got lucky and i am playing with someone that i have had past chemistry with so that's a good thing but at the end of the day if you lose one game, this event could change. 20K right there. And I'm in first place by 8K. I'm locked in, y'all. I'm first place. And this is the point guard leaderboard. But the point guard leaderboard is the hardest leaderboard to stay on. Okay. And I'm a 6'7 point guard. 6'7. All these other point guards that be winning this event are like 6'1. Right? 6'7 point guard ain't the usual point guard build winning these events anyways we get 18k right there we are way past our participation stuff we had 343k we are still locked in at that first place spot an hour and 40 minutes left to go we gotta stay locked for these unlimited dunk boosts a cardi goes ahead hits me right here y'all already know i'm chicken with it if y'all want the jump shot the build the drew moves it's all on the channel spin back green where are you going in some games like this game right here I had to take over. I had to shoot from the logo. Nine, three threes in a row. Look at me right here. Look at this shot right here. Right between the both of the defenders. That's green. I wasn't missing in this game. I'm over here five for five. Throw a lob for game. And we barely win that game by five points. And I was in my bag. Which goes to show how you could just lose any game. I mean, if I missed one, maybe two more shots right there, we could have lost. Right? First place by 20K. I'm like, yo, we are cruising right now in this event and no one looking like they stopped with us look i'm toying with these dudes easy green and we going crazy and another thing i like about this event as we get 60k points is i could i wasn't really talking in game chat because my teammates were talking in game chat but i could hear the other team talking game chat so sometimes i could hear their game plan you know what i'm saying or what they were saying which did come in handy some games anyways this dude was a goat tier right here very good shooter where we end up getting a lob right here because we're up eight points so we decide you know why not do that anyways 22k points 
We're going crazy, bro. Opponent strength went crazy that game. We have now surpassed 400k my points, and there's an hour and 16 left. I'm crossing my fingers. I'm like, okay, we can't lose. We cannot lose one more hour, right, y'all? I'm going ahead, leaking out. Easy three, 21 to 13. I'm in my burger. I'm in my bag, y'all. I'm trying to win this event. I'm trying to secure just like Ruffles. 15k points we are still locking down that first place spot with 416k points we're playing another goat tier right here so if we do win the opponent's strength will be nice and look at these dudes these dudes were holding ball they knew your boy was in first place they were like yo we see double h going crazy we don't want to see him get this draft spool spot they were literally holding ball on purpose trying to make the game take long so yeah what I don't know what those dudes were on. We still ended the game, but it took way longer than usual, and we got 16k points. So that was that kind of set us back a little bit. We're still in first though, but the dudes that were behind us are catching up a little. I was a full game ahead of them. Now I'm not a full game ahead of them because those dudes were holding ball like that whole game. Anyways. We get back into a game right here. You see, we get in steals, we get in fast breaks. That definitely speeds up this event. If you get any steals, that could make the, the the games go by way faster, which is definitely useful. You see, we were only up by two right there, but we do secure the three. So that was kind of a close game. And we're kind of getting mediocre games, like 15, 16K. So if these guys behind us are getting like 20K, then they're going to pass us. And that's exactly what Juice just did right there. So now we're in second place. We're starting to drop down a little bit. I'm getting a little worried, especially when this game is eight to eight. So I'll go ahead, pull up for the easy three, 17 to 10. We get an inbound steal. I'm over in the corner with takeover. I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot it 20 to 10. We're gonna go ahead and win this game right here. And bro, I'm shooting lights out. I mean, I, I'm getting takeover every game. I'm getting three, five assists a game. I'm getting hella threes up, 17K my points right there. So we haven't really got a 20 plus K game in a minute. You know what I'm saying? And we're starting to fall down. You know, we're about to slip to third place. I'm getting a little worried, 19 to seven. We're gonna try to go ahead and end this game right here. I shoot the midi, end the game, blowout game, but we're not getting high opponent straight for that game. And look at, we're in second place. So we're still in second. We're still in second, less than an hour to go. We got to stay locked in, right? We're playing a goat tier center right here. 19 to 14. I got takeover. We get an open lob. I'm like, thank God. Needed a lob to end that game because I was getting threes that game. And we get finally a 20 plus K game again. 22K. But look it. I'm second place. I just passed 500K my points. We are going crazy. There is not too much time left in the event. So I just got to cross my fingers. Hope we keep winning. Hope my teammates stay in their bag right here. I shoot the fade away. We miss. Get the rebound. That dude's flopping because he knows game's over. This dude, we shooting over him, okay? Green light. We win another game, and that's, you know, a 15K game. Nothing crazy. Not too good of a game right there. Let's go ahead. Look at the leaderboards. 22 minutes left, and I drop down the third. So now I'm getting worried, right? Because y'all know how it is at the end of the event. If you don't get a game in in time, someone could, could get that last game in before you, and you don't have enough time to get that last game in, and they surpass you. So I'm like, yo, I got to lock in. I go ahead and get a steal on these three gold tier uh, team or opposing players we're playing. Eight to five. A Cardi hits me. I'm shooting from deep with no energy. And that's green. Look at me. Take over. We point at you after we green in 16 to 11. I'm trying to end these games. This dude shoots a bad shot. I'm leaking out on the break. 19 to 13. I don't know why he thought I was going to rim run. I'm taking that three. I don't miss from three. Come on now. We end that game. And look at 20K. I'm like, that's solid. That's what we needed. A 20K game. We are still in third place. Though. I was literally in first place for so long. And now I'm in third. I'm like, okay. I, I, this whole event was so stressful. At this point, I'm still not thinking that we had won the event. I'm like, oh my God, a couple more games. We, we cannot lose. We got to lock in. I'm making dudes rage quit. We shooting over them. They're double teaming. It doesn't matter. 15 to four. This guy shoots a wide up at three. Misses. We good. We both got takeover. Blowout game. I catch a lob right here. Go ahead and end that. Not too much time left, right? 20K game, though. I'm like, okay, that's solid. We should be good now. Now I'm feeling confident, but we're still third. And there's nine minutes left. So I'm like, yo, we got to try to get two games in. We have to. We have to get two games in. So we finish a game right there. We get only 15k. I'm like, okay, as long as we get into this last game, it should count. Just like mobile and ruffles, I've noticed this year that as long as you get into a game before it before the event ends, it's going to count whether or not the event ends in the middle of the game. So we're in third place going into this game. Go ahead, hit a cardi for the pop. He's gonna green that. This is the last game. The last game. I'm like, I'm finally feeling confident. The first time the full four hours, I'm like, okay. 
we probably won this event. You know what I'm saying? Because this event is so stressful. I'm already knowing y'all in the comments are definitely going to be talking about how stressful this event is. Who, who played this event? Let me know. Because I'm already knowing y'all are getting sold by randoms. But look at... We shooting the three contested don't matter from the logo 10 seconds one second the event ended right it's 14 to 8 and our game didn't end i'm like i'm still confident that even with this event that it, this game will count towards our score so i'm gonna go ahead cherry pick because i know we're winning this game regardless this team wasn't very good 20 to 8 i'm cherry picking again trying to end the game this dude misses a wide open three that is gonna be a late and we get a wide open three and that ends the event four hours down the drain and that was glitched i don't know what that is i mean look at the chinese numbers i was like what the heck is that hopefully that game counted it says event has ended i load back in i'm like yo yo yo, yo please 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 season events and boom we get top five and it says we're second place right there for a second but it showed third third place second place fourth place i don't care first place i don't care we got top five congratulations your rewards we get the top five entry for the 2k league draft unlimited layup and dunk boost and our tier one prizes drop a like on the video for your boy going crazy in this event man and that counts towards our legend prize we will be hitting legend this year so y'all make sure to sub up for that but look it shows i'm second place right here so that's why i was kind of confused exactly what place i got second third i i don't know but we got top five that's all that matters top five no matter if you're first or fifth you get the same rewards and you win the event so look at that unlimited dunk boost yo we collected all our infinity stones we got unlimited jump shot boost from ruffles if you didn't watch that video go watch that now unlimited dunk boost for winning the 2k league event let's go ahead put on the clothes if y'all want me to continue this series and make a video on whatever this draft pool thing is that's coming up next make sure to drop a like on the video okay let me know if the, if a 2k league team should draft me let me know in the comments okay would i go crazy in a 3v3 league i don't know to be honest but we got our jersey we got our arm sleeves uh, which actually are pretty nice. I might have to wear the Ruffles jersey over it, but the jersey is clean. No cap, okay? We also did get a banner as well for the Tier 1 prizes, but the most important thing is the unlimited dunk boost and the 2K League draft pool spot. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to drop a like. This was actually a really fun event. I Even though I failed the first two events and won the third event, the first two events were really fun too, playing with randoms. But finally, I got lucky enough to get a decent enough team to win three throughout most of the events and we ended up winning i knew all i needed was a couple decent players and we would win and that's exactly what we got make sure to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed subscribe to the channel if you guys are new we got tons of banger videos and content coming your way all year it's been your boy henry aka double h let me know if someone should drop me man but i'm out peace